pancake. Looks like we're going to have the last herd of horses shipped this year. Well, Mike, I'm mighty glad to hear that. You know, you took an awful beating last year when that big herd was stolen. Yes, yeah, it was tough for all of us. But I feel sure this herd I've got now will make up for it. Sugar, did you get tired of rounding up wild horses? No, but I could smell pancakes cooking. You don't mean you're hungry. I don't mean nothing else fast. Don't me. No, you don't. We're not eating till Tony gets here. Well, then you won't have long to wait. Hey, Sugar, look. You know better than to ask that, Tony. Sugar's always ready to eat. I'll go help Pancake. All right. Well, how did you do? I rounded up 20 strays over in the South Canyon. You look worried. What's the matter? I ran across some strange riders this morning. They were watching our work from the ridge. Oh, something to worry about. I'm really thinking what happened last year. Yes, that's right. We haven't got enough help. After you eat, why don't you run into Big Springs and hire a couple of good men? They might come in handy. I think you've got something there. Uh-huh. Think that old day out, just camped out at the Willow, isn't they? Gathering quite a nice herd. Been watching them work all morning. Well, that's fine. Hank, you and Rocky drift into town and find Spencer. Tell him we'll meet him later. All right, Duke. You two come with me. We'll ride out and pick up old Greenway. For I'm one hard-boiled, jolly good fella. I wake up every morning with the smile. When trouble tries to stick, oh, I chase him pretty quick. For I never like the gloom. Wherever I go, it's boom. <laughs> Life is but a joke, yes, and now my string she's broke, for I'm one hard-boiled, jolly good fella. <laughs> you see, now I have my guitar with no strings attached to it, but just the same, I have my trusty sling shot. <laughs> Pierre, don't you ever go any place without that bag of tricks? Oh, my dear friend. What I would do without my bag of tricks? I carry everything in it. Anything you can wish for. Yeah? Well, in that case, see if you can drag me out a ham sandwich. A ham sandwich? Oh, no sooner said than done. Oh, uh, thanks. Ah, but not for you. I only have this one. But uh, thank you for reminding me of it. Oh, I happen just to think. Here's something you might like. Oh, thanks. Limburger cheese? Are you kidding? Some people like it, you know. Yeah? Well, I think it stinks. Look, 
at the sign? No, at the girl. Oh, now look here. You remember the girl in Oklahoma? Yeah, but we're in Arizona now, and Oklahoma's a long way off. Something is cooking. That's the O'Day girl. See what she's up to. know what to say. Dad only needs two men, and it wouldn't be fair for me to choose. I know. Suppose you race for it. Race for it? That's right, and the first two men who get to Willis Camp will be hired. Get your horses and I'll start. Race for it? Michael Day needs a couple of hands. They do, eh? Well, it might not be a bad idea to have a couple of our men in the outfit. Ed, you two, see if you can get on. Dad, hire the first two men to get there. I'm on my way. Well, now, look here, Miss. Uh... Now, uh, where is this uh, Willow's camp? You don't know. No. And you're going to try and win a race to it. <laughs> well, I'll tell you. If you go out of town, you take the first road to the left and go about two miles. You come to a little green and take a fence. But don't let that stop you. Just keep right on going until you come to a fork in the road by a little white church. Now, to be right, you go left and then go right. And yeah, well, now, wait a minute. Uh, let's see. To go, uh, to go right, you go left. Yeah, that's Is that right? right? That's right. Mm -hmm. uh, do you understand that? Oh, I understand them perfectly. Uh -huh. Well, now, look. I think if you don't mind, uh, I think it'd be a good idea if we just followed the leader, don't you? Oh, well, do as you like, but the directions are very simple. Yeah. Well, uh, thank you very much. All right, man. I'll give you the signal to go. Ready? Go! I don't know what's the matter. I told you to get this cinch fixed. I make this fix all the time, Tom. You better hurry, you'll never make it.
picket fence, white church, walk in the road, go right, go left, go left. Ah. Grease lightning. Let's go back. Mr. O'Day. That's right. Your daughter said yes, that. I know. Sugar here told me all about it. You're hired. Thanks. You sure got a fast car. Yeah, you like him? I like. Since my horse, he's been running. All right. I take the shortcut. Now what I do? Well, I'm sorry. I only needed two men. I've already had them. Oh, I guess I have to take the long shortcut. But Tom is there. He's my best friend. Where he work, I work. I don't need any more men. I can cook. We have a cook. I cook. I play music. I play music. Well, then I, I'm useless. I'm useless. But please, Mr. O'Day, I can't take no for answer. I do anything. Dad, I heard pancakes say he wished he had a dishwasher. Mm -hmm. Dishwasher? I accept. Hello, Duke. Greenway. Hello, Spencer. What are you hiding for? <laughs> I'm not hiding. I just uh, didn't want anybody to see Greenway and me together. Sit down. Duke, I understand that you've been looking over the horse outfits in the valley. That's right. We did ourselves plenty good last year by grabbing off that 300 head. Well, for your information, we're not grabbing any few hundred head this year, are we, Greenway? No, no, we're not grabbing horses this time. Well, what'd you bring me out here for? To help us with a new plan. I'll guarantee you a better break than last year. Go ahead, I'm listening. Well, as you know, I control the one railroad leading into Big Springs. I'm going to raise the shipping rates to the ranchers. And I'm going to make them high enough so that we all make plenty of money. You think they're going to stand for that? <laughs> what else can they do? 
There's only two ways out of this valley. My railroad and the trail to Greenway's property. If they won't pay mine to rate, you charge them for going to his place. You two really have things thrown up, haven't you? But have you thought of this? If you charge them too much, they can't make any money at all. Then you'll drive them all out of business. That's what we'd like to do. And once we take over their land, we'll have the best horse property west of the Mississippi. Well, that sounds pretty good to me. What's the next move? Well, you're going to deliver a letter to Michael Day, notifying him of the new railroad rate. fine place here, Miss Obey. About the best I've ever seen. I'm glad you like it. You know, there's something I've been wanting to tell you. Yeah? What? Well, I... I hardly know how to say it. Oh, that's all right. Just go ahead and talk. Well, uh, I'm... I'm awfully glad you won that race. Say, I'm glad, too. Uh, for Dad's sake, you need a top hand. Oh, for Dad's sake. enough dish for one whole army. You'll get used to it. You've done a swell job, Pierre. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, you want to play, huh? Was you a uh, look for something? No. Is this going to become a habit? Don't you throw up your hands and stop some of them? I stopped everyone so far. Don't you think he's had enough? How'd you like to take his place? Oh, me? Oh, no, I don't want any of that stuff. I thought you were yellow. <laughs> all about. I tell you what it was. Well, I was sitting right down here, here and then here was this way. I, I saw the swallow here. He kicked. You see what it was? He was over there. He was over there. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's wrong, Tom? Oh, nothing. He just got a little excited is all. Pierre caught him searching Tom's sorry bag. What have you got to say? You better ride on.
find out, Hank. Nothing. I got thrown out. Duke, there are a couple of saddle tramps working for O'Day. One of them's plenty tough. Well, I'm on my way over there now to pay that outfit a visit. All right, I'll see you in town. You're Mark O'Day, ain't you? That's right. Well, I represent the Big Springs Railroad. Came to find out how many horses you want us to own for you. There's your new race. Thank you. I'm welcome. So he's changed the rate from $2 a head to $15. Why, Spencer can't get away with this. Well, that's the cost of your answer, and you can take it or leave it. Well, by thunder, I'm not going to take it. And you can go to town and tell that to Spencer. Now get out of here. Now take it easy, you old goot. Yeah, well, you take it easy. You heard what he said, so go on back and tell it to Spencer. Ah, I get it. Hero stuff, huh? Another one! <laughs> Tony, this is an outrage. I I'm going to tell him have it out with Spencer. Oh, I wouldn't do that, Mr. Obey. If you don't mind my saying so, I think you can accomplish more by being calm. He's right, Dad. Let's not have any trouble. I can't understand it. Such a big increase. It's perfectly clear. Looks like a freeze-out. Now, why don't you get the ranchers together and have a little talk with Spencer? That's a good idea. I will. Oh, Sugar, right over and get Mr. Pratt. Tony, get Mr. Holmes. Tom, you and I get the others. Come on. Then there's nothing we can do until Spencer gets here. Is there anybody sent for him? Yes, I did. Here he comes now. Howdy, man. I understand you're looking for me. Spencer, what's the idea of raising your railroad rates? Well, costs have gone up all day. That's true, but not this much. Well, we don't even make that much profit ahead. Why, we can't stay in business and pay it. It's an outrage. Why, you haven't used good judgment. And I, for one, won't pay it. Wait a minute, man. Now, this arguing isn't going to get us anywhere. Get us anywhere? Just who are you? He's my new foreman, and he speaks for all of us. Go ahead, Tom. Now, I can only believe your raise in rates has another reason other than the increased railroad cost to you, Mr. Spencer. Or am I wrong? <laughs> You're wrong. And if I might add, I own that spur line, and I've got a right to charge what I please. Yeah. You win that point. Then my advice to you ranchers is that you don't uh, use Mr. Spencer's railroad. Well, gentlemen, you do as you please. But it's 120 miles of the main line. And as long as you charge those high rates, the ranchers won't pay it. We'll drive the horses over the trail. Right through Mr. Greenway's ranch. At no cost. Is that right, Mr. Greenway? Well, I'm afraid that I'd have to charge the same price as Mr. Spencer does. You see, I, I can't undercut the railroad. You seem to forget, Mr. Greenway, that trail is a public right-of-way and you can't charge for the use of it. Well, I'm not charging for the use of the trail. As Spencer said, the nearest railroad is 120 miles away. And I happen to control, through government lease, the only water between here and there. That's what I'm charging for. Oh. So it's the water, is it? Well, I guess that just about whips us. Gentlemen, if you change your mind, let me know.
Yep, yeah, it looks like they got us stopped. What are we going to do with our horses? Men are in a tough spot. If we turn our horses out on the open range, we miss this year's delivery. And if the price of feed, if we keep them in our corrals, we can't hope to break even. Oh, Dave, this will break me. Dad, this will break all of us. Isn't there something you can figure out? I got an idea. I'll check on it and let you know in a day or two. But Tom, every day we lose, we're losing money. And how can we be sure you know what you're talking about? Well, let's hear your plan. No, I can't tell you now. You'll just have to trust me. I'm for stampeding our stock right straight through that sneaking Greenway's place. And let Greenway sue you for every nickel you got. After all, we have law and order here, and it is his property. Say, what is this, Canyon? I'd hate to think that you're in cahoots with those high binders, too. Dad, this isn't right. You asked Tom to help you, and the way things look now, well, my advice is to listen to him. Whatever your plan is, Tom, get busy on it. All right, then, here's what you do. You ranchers run all your horses over to Mike's South Pasture. The feed's pretty good over there, and you won't lose anything for a day or two. In the meantime, I'll uh, work as fast as I can. Any of you ever see that galoot before anywhere? Yeah. He's just a nickel horse wrangler that drifted in here and got himself a job. Well, I don't like him. He could be troublesome. He was troublesome. Spencer, I'm afraid of him. Well, Duke, that's where you come in. Careful and easy. Just leave that to me. Oh, you're gonna enjoy this cigar. <laughs> oh, thanks. Now, about this song. She's very simple. All you have to do is to follow. Now, let's try it. I'll tell you when to start. I'm out of tune. Look, you see that thing right there? Uh, what's the matter with it? Uh, that's the matter with it. Sounds your age. It ain't me. It's the film. Oh, sure, sure. Well, do some things about it. Have you got a nickel? A nickel? Here, what you gonna do with a nickel? until I tell you. Now! Dad, do you mind telling me now where Sugar and Tom went? Well, as long as you keep on asking me. She went to short time the shortcut over to Grand Falls. We had some business to handle we couldn't do in our time. I hope they're all right. So do I. I can't figure this fellow Tom out. He takes up our battle and yet he has nothing to gain by it. Dad, did you ever think there's some people in this world who help other people without thought of gain? I hope he's one of them.
you sure you saw him and Glenn Falls? Yeah, him and the kid. They was up to something. He went in the telegraph office. Well, he's got to come back this way, so we'll spread out and lay for him. We've had quite a trip, Sugar. Shall we uh, get Chiquita a rest? It wouldn't hurt. What's up? Just a minute. Here, hide this. right here. If I'm not back in 15 minutes, go to your dad and give him that telegram. paper he just gave you. Try and get it. and Comstock. What's up? I haven't time to tell you now. Come on.
send to you men because we're ready for action. What's the plan, Tom? We're trading the horses through Greenway's place. But he wants the same rate, and they won't reason for anything else. Yeah, well, we're going through and without charge. Oh, Tom, you've lost your mind. You don't know Greenway. He and Spetzer are working hand in hand, and he won't give us water. Look, Mike. When Greenway talked of his lease of the water rights, I checked with the government on the conditions of that lease, and I found out what I wanted to know. There's a clause in that contract which says all government-owned stock while on the move had the use of that water free of charge. But ours are not government-owned horses. No, but they will be. What do you mean? In the name of the government, I'll buy them. And when we reach your destination, I'll sell them back to you again. But how do you hope to do that, Tom? Because my real reason for being here is to represent the government. Oh. You? That's right. This telegram will verify what I've said. Men, I think we've got real old Spencer left. I wonder what they hope to gain by freezing us out. Plenty. They want your ranches. There's a new railroad coming through here. A new what? railroad? Yep. The government sent me out here to contract at fair prices or right away for a new road that's coming through here to reduce all freight rates to you ranchers. But we've still got to get these horses to market. What do we do, Tom? Round up the boys and get ready to move the stock. I'll see you later. If I'd wanted to help you or bring to us ranchers, you would never have had to race for this job. Job isn't done yet, Tony. You better take sugar and get out to the ranch. I'm helping. We're going to need every hand we can get. I'll see you later. Thanks. Yeah, you better go with them. All right. Stop, Tom! Help! Help! Where are you? Right here! Well, what are you doing down there? I must be going foggy. Kenyon, I'd like to talk to you. Kenyon, I was forced into this. Both Spencer and I knew that the railroad was coming. It was his idea to double-cross the others, not mine. I want to get out of that outfit, and you've got to help me. And I suppose it was Spencer's idea to steal O'Day's horses last year. You're wrong, mister. That was my idea. So, Greenway, you want to get out of the outfit, do you? You will. When we're through with you, you double-crosser. You're only working yourself up a headache, Duke. We heard your plans and you're just wasting your time. Those horses can't get through without you. Hey, go get Spencer. I hope Tom's plans work out all right. So do I. We can't do anything until he gets here. Don't try to talk yourself out of this for me. Tell it to Spencer. Well, I just thought you looked intelligent. And Chuck told me the whole deal. I bet you think you're pretty smart. Well, you're not. Greenway, you're springing with me. Those ranchers can't get their horses through without you to prove that you bought them for the government. And you'll never prove that. One way that you'll ever get out of here, Kenyon, and that's by making a deal with me. I don't make deals, Mr. Spencer. Uh -huh. All right. You men get out to the horses. I wonder what's keeping Tom. We've got to get these horses on the move or we'll miss our delivery. Yeah. 
stampede every one of them horses. Look. Well, this will make it a lot easier. Take cover, everybody.
Yeah? <laughs> That's what you would think. A deal, Kenyon. No deal, Spencer. about you. It was the cigars. Maybe they get hurt. <laughs> I'm planning a barbecue after we deliver these horses. I hope you and y'all be there. I wouldn't miss it for the world. I'm wondering if Pancake enjoys his cigar, I give him. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Pancake sent you a present. For me? Well, isn't that sweet of him? I wonder what... <laughs> Some present, I tell you that. 